If you thought that the original theatrical release of The Exorcist was scary, then you haven't seen anything yet. Let's dig into this horrifying sequence that was unreleased for years. Few films have the lasting notoriety of William Friedkin's The Exorcist. This 1973 tale of terror traumatized audiences when it released in theaters, with reports of people fainting in the aisles. Based on the best-selling novel of the same name by William Peter Blatty, it followed the harrowing story of a young girl named Regan, who becomes possessed by an unholy force. Her mother calls upon the Catholic Church to exorcise her daughter, and the priests they send undergo true horror trying to release poor Regan from the demon's clutches. I think the point is to make us despair. There are many shocking scenes in The Exorcist, including Regan levitating several feet off of her bed, a scene in which her head spins 180 degrees, and the infamous pea soup vomit scene. But perhaps the most shocking of all never made it into the theatrical cut. 27 years later, for a theatrical re-release in 2000, audiences finally got a chance to see one of the most infamous deleted scenes of all time, Regan's staircase spider walk. In the original theatrical cut of The Exorcist, the signs of Regan's possession begin more gradually, before eventually ramping up to her more otherworldly antics. Friedkin decided to remove the footage of Regan walking backwards on her hands and feet down the stairs from this version because it ratcheted the terror up too quickly, and the special effects at the time felt hokey. Friedkin was especially annoyed with the wires that helped Blair's stunt double do the awkward, creepy walk, so the scene hit the cutting room floor. The original footage recreates one of the freakiest moments in Blatty's novel, with Regan creepy crawling her way down the stairs, flicking her tongue out like some kind of lizard, and then chasing after one of her mother's friends. While some of the spider walk itself does look a little hokey, the feral nature of Blair's performance and the terrified screams of her target make it a whole lot scarier. In 2000, Friedkin's director's cut of The Exorcist was re-released in theaters, famously billed as the version you've never seen. The new cut added previously deleted scenes, including the infamous spider walk moment. Horror fans flocked to theaters to see the long-discussed, rarely seen deleted scene. In this version, Friedkin reworked the sequence, removing the tongue flicking and making blood cascade out of Regan's open mouth. It's grisly stuff, and it's especially shocking compared to the original footage. It happens right after Regan's mother discovers the tragic death of a family friend, who fell down a stairwell on a nearby street and broke his neck. Overwhelmed with fear for her daughter, who appears to be medically healthy but cannot control the demon inside of her, and sadness for the dead man, she is at the brink of breaking. Enter Regan, crawling unnaturally down the stairs, reminding everyone that she's not healthy at all. Even before The Spider Walk, The Exorcist was recognized as one of the most impactful films of the 20th century. It has been referenced in everything from Saturday Night Live to X-Men The Last Stand to Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. It also went on to spawn several sequels and prequels, including Exorcist II, The Heretic, The Exorcist III, Exorcist The Beginning, and Dominion, prequel to The Exorcist. There was even an Exorcist television series starring Gina Davis and Ben Daniels that ran on Fox for two seasons, ending in 2017. In 2010, the Library of Congress selected The Exorcist to be preserved in the National Film Registry, citing it as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. The film also holds its place in history as one of the most cursed horror films ever made. There were multiple deaths and disasters on set, including injuries to stars Linda Blair and Ellen Burstyn. A massive fire destroyed most of the film's sets, causing massive delays and budget spikes, though Regan's bedroom somehow survived. That was just weird enough to make the filmmakers call an actual Jesuit priest to bless the set before filming could resume. Decades after its release, The Exorcist is still a powerful and striking story about the nature of evil. The spider walk sequence is only a tiny part of the film itself, but it's integral to the overall legend of this extraordinary film. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more slash film videos about your favorite horror movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.